Hello and welcome to the series Sacred Rocks. Today we are going to visit a rock sanctuary in the Rodopi Mountains, called Galayam Tulpan or the Big Tulip. The sanctuary is located in southeast Bulgaria, very close to the border with Greece, so we will travel by car to the closest village of Drangovo, where the road ends and for another 1 to 2 kilometers we will follow a dirt road if the conditions allow for it. So, let's skip the mundane part of the trip and jump directly to the interesting one. Okay, so here the road split to a well-maintained one and an unpaved one. Of course, the right direction is on the unpaved one, but it seems counterintuitive. So I first drove up to the well-maintained road, which ended in maybe one kilometer uh, with a dead end. So here we are back on the dirt road. Let's see where it will take us. Oh. of mud or snow I'm not sure this road will be passable every time I go for a hike at the end of December I forget how short is the day especially in the mountain and in the forest where you cannot plan very precisely how much light you will have for photography and for getting back to the vehicle it's quite windy so I'm not sure what I will be able to achieve with the drone but I'm here so when I reach the destination I will decide maybe I will give it a try here the road splits and according to Google Maps we need to go left. Of course the road is dry, no mud, no snow. I could have continued with the car but you never know. So I reached the end of the road and lucky for me there were some friendly shepherds who directed me for the walking trail and it's good that they were there because there were two large shepherd dogs which were not very friendly in the start but afterwards they calmed down so from here the man told me good walking 20 minutes let's see if i will be able to catch the sunset like the man said there are labels on the trees but in the opposite direction if you are walking up no chance to see them so every once in a while i need to turn back and look and this is your typical Rodopi forest. When I reach the top of the hill I should be able to see the rocks. So let's go. Another hill to climb and definitely I will lose the sunset. There are too many hills and the sun is almost behind one of them, so it will be twilight, not golden hour.
No, actually these are the rocks. And there are some more in the distance. I need to put up the drone as soon as possible. We don't have too much. Here between the rocks is very quiet, not so strong wind, so at least for the lift off and uh, the landing, I think I will be able to, to use the drone. Let's find out. An oval shaped altar has been excavated in the highest and flattest part of the rock peak. On the northwest side of the rock there are several stone blocks of different sizes, which are remnants of the fence wall of the sanctuary, dry masonry of large quarry stones. According to archaeologists this wall one was 2 meters high. On the two largest stone blocks, there are excavated ritual pits, and the place can accommodate at least 30 people. Quite probably the place was used in the past for performing rituals. You can see it's getting dark already. Now on the way back it's easier because the signs on the trees are facing my direction. But at some point uh, they went before barbed wire, so I remained outside and started running parallel to it. I need to get out of the forest before it gets dark because uh, I forgot my flashlight in the car. Out of the woods at last. Here is the road. Maybe it's too dark to, for you to see, but anyway, I have something like 20 minutes to the car, then back through the mud carefully, and then on the main road again. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe in order to follow up on my next visits to different sacred rocks. Take care, stay curious and enjoy our beautiful planet.